everyone, Marlene here with Buffalo Check Chicks. So today I have a little project. It is a hat box that I actually painted a galvanized color oh, a few months back and I had turned it into a shelf that I never used. So I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to turn it into a drum for my 4th of July decorations. And I do like the galvanized paint on there, but I do want to cover it with some red. But I want it to look old. So I put one coat of red on it, and I really like the way it looks over that galvanized color. It looks antiqued, and it looks really neat. So I'm going to add one more coat. And I don't want a, a solid red. I want to be able to see through it. So let me walk it out here to the sun. I'm working in the backyard today. It's nice. And let me walk it out here to the sun so you can actually see what I'm talking about. See how antique it looks over that galvanized color? Really, really like that. It has a few holes in the side. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. But I'll figure that out as time comes. So... I love this color. So now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do to the lid. Okay, there's a second coat of paint on it. Isn't it pretty? I really like that. I'm just going to leave the holes in there. I like the way it looks. I don't want to make it a solid, solid red. I like being able to see that color. So I'm going to leave it as is, let it dry, and see how it turns out. We've been using the pool a lot. I had my sister-in-law here for almost a week, and we really have had a good time swimming. So it's beautiful out this morning, so just thought I'd be right out in the backyard. So here's the lid. There's Chessie. Hi, Chessie. <laughs> Okay, so here's the lid, and it's blue, and I think I want to paint it white. Um, I only have that really thin white paint, you know, from the Dollar Tree, and I tried it, and it doesn't cover anything. You guys, that is not a good white paint. But I mixed it with some tan paints I have, and um, I didn't want to go out and buy anything, so I'm really using paint I have on hand and I might have to mix up some colors but they're all in the same palette tans to a golden color and I want the top of this this is where the drummer actually drums I want it to look old I don't want to look like a new drum so you can see I mixed it with some of that white and some of that tan and you can still see some of the blue through it so I'll add a little more but I do like how it looks. It looks like an antique color. Do not want this looking new. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little more white and a little more tan and mix it together. And um, I like that it looks like it's been used. Like the drummer has actually pounded those drumsticks right in there. So now I want to paint uh, that edge in a blue color and of course I'm short on blue too. Now I have this Admiral Blue and a little bit of that and a light blue and you can add a little black and a little orange to to darken your paint. So it came out um, a really nice blue. I think that looks pretty close to the American flag and I'm just going to mix it up really well. So I like the way it looks so I'm going to go ahead and use it. And I find myself doing this quite a bit. You know, if I have little bits of paint left over here and there, I just mix it. And, you know, it's always easy. I don't like to waste anything. So I use everything. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I painted uh, my first coat around the edge there. And I'll let it dry a little bit. And then I'll go ahead and put a second coat on it. And if I need... To touch up on the top, I'll do that because I didn't tape anything. But actually, I think it is coming out looking pretty good. So I did get a second coat of that blue around the edge. 
and I think it looks really good. So now I got to figure out how I want to decorate this and I needed some drumsticks. So I found these old paint handles that no longer have the brushes. I save everything, you guys. So I have those and I'm going to paint them and make drumsticks out of them. So I decided on the sides, I had this uh, blue ribbon. It's similar in shade to the edge that I painted. And I'm just going to zigzag it up and down, up and down, up and down with a little hot glue all the way around. Now, I did not measure this. I probably should have, but it came out okay. Um, so, yeah, I, I really like the way that looks. It added a little decoration to my drum. And I still want to do something else. So, in my sewing drawer, I found these, uh, well, they're fastener dots. They're like glue dots, really, but they're Velcro. And they sit on sheets of plastic, and they have the sticky sides. And I am just going to paint them a gold, and I'm going to stick them right on. And ta-da, I think that looks really cute. So that has decorated my drum. Now I need to get my drumsticks painted and decide what, if anything, I want to do to the top of the drum. So I decided that I will put a floral on top of the drum. So I have this foam block that I just wrapped in the burlap lace that I bought over at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to add some flowers to it. I've got a little red, blue, white, gold. And I am not a floral designer, so I just put them in uh, down on the foam block the way that it looks good to my eye. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this, hot glue it, right on top of my drum. I think that's going to look really cute. And then to that, I have this uh, ribbon that I also bought over at Dollar Tree. I'm just making a very simple little bow. It's a two layer bow and I am going to hot glue it onto the foam block and I'll glue the whole thing right down on top of my drum. So I need to get my drum sticks in there and I painted them blue to match the drum and I'm just going to push them down in the bow I haven't glued anything yet. I'm just getting it adjusted to see if I like it. And I'll put my drumstick, something like this, down on the bow and just set it right on top of the drum. I think that's adorable. So let me get it all glued in place and then I'll show you where I put it. So I set my little drum right inside my entryway and it matches the floral arrangement on the other side, so I think it looks really good there. And I think it came out so adorable. So, if you have a hat box lying around your house that you're not using anymore, now you could make a drum with it. This was just a simple, fun little project. Okay, see you soon. Love you guys. Bye for now.